Hello everyone, welcome back to Talent Battle and today's video is going to be very special because this is a feedback from the first day of TCS test that was held on 15th of March. So in this video, we will check out what were the important questions that was asked and how you can perform better for the second test, those who have the test and what is the new date announced by TCS for the second batch test, right? So first, as you all know, the TCS first test has already been done. That was on 15th of March. Hopefully it went very well for all of our students and hopefully all the students will clear the first round of TCS. And we have got such a good replies. I would like to extend a thank you from the team talent battle to all the students for such a lovely regards after your test because all the students felt very happy. Because the TCS, their preparation which they were doing with talent battle, they, that has been resulted very nice, right? Most of the students were saying the questions were even also repeated that they were did, doing in the preparation time. So let's start the video and let's discuss what was their test feedback so that it can help other students as well. So moving ahead. Now. What was a test pattern? It was the same test pattern as discussed by talent battle before, but let's repeat once so that it can, you can also prepare your mind. Those who have a test on the 20th of March. Yes, I announced. So 20th of March is the test. that is tomorrow is the next test. So we wish you all the very best. So this is going to be the test pattern where first part A will be the foundation section where there will be three subsections that is numerical ability. 25 minutes, 20 questions, logical reasoning, 25 minutes, 20 questions, verbal ability, 25 minutes and 25 questions. And part B will be the advanced section where advanced quantitative plus reasoning will be there for 25 minutes, 15 questions and advanced coding that will be for 90 minutes and two questions and total time will be 190 minutes. So this is going to be a test pattern for the first round of TCS hiring process. So you can also take the screenshots if you want. Okay. So you can take screenshots and save in your gallery so that you can revise all the screenshots once before sitting for the actual test. So moving ahead now. Now we will discuss some important rules. There were some important rules that needs to be discussed. First thing was no section switching, only question switching was there. So this uh, rules, uh, basically, uh, this is the actual feedback that we have received from um, our students, right? So it can be, um, it cannot be 100% true as well, because it can change student to student or we can say college to college. But most probably this is going to be your scenario. We can take 99% guarantee, but 1% chance is there like something can be changed, right? So this is the feedback from the first test that no section switching is there. You cannot switch between the sections. You can switch between the questions. Next is TCS exam will be happening at the center. As we all know, you have to go to TCS allocated centers where you have to uh, sit for your exam. There is no negative marking. This is a very good thing. Then you can attempt the test completely. Answer all the questions because all the questions are going to be MCQ level. So answer all the questions. Any number of rough paper you will get. It means there can be infinite number of rough papers if you want to make any uh, uh, like calculations. You can take the rough sheets from the center. But you have to return those uh, rough sheets after your test has been done. Next, there is an on-screen calculator also provided. This is also very good. This will be helping a lot of students to solve the aptitude problem because if you have the online screen calculator, no question-wise timer is there. There will be section-wise timing. You cannot uh, have, like you will not be having any question-wise timing. There will be a section-wise timer. Next, there will be total eight TITA-based questions. It means... Uh, total eight set of questions will be there based on TIT. Next, if we submit one coding question, then we can go to second one. This is very oftenly uh, like um, uh, basically uh, earlier if what you can do is you can also leave first question uh, in between and then start the second question. But now if you have you have to submit the first coding question, once it is submitted, then only you can go to second one. 
there are two coding questions as we discussed in advanced coding section there are 90 minutes and two coding questions out of which when you will be solving first question you not basically solving you have to solve plus submit this first question once it is submit then only you can go to second question otherwise you cannot go to second question we can't make changes in first coding question once it is submitted you cannot make any changes please be sure with this thing you cannot come back to the first question again next is the sectional cut off there is a sectional cut off it means for each and every section for numerical ability there will be a separate cut off logical reasoning separate cut off same similarly for all the other section next coming to important topics for aptitude now so these are some important topics for aptitude the first is percentage there were two questions based on percentages there were questions based on time and work there were questions based on time speed and distance there were questions based on profit and loss simple and compound interest we have written two questions but this can be separate uh, in your exam as well this scenario can change right this is the information as per we have received from our students next highest number divisible by 556 and 2028 this is a direct question this was most repeated question right in, in many per people get the same question highest number divisible by 556 and 2028 next is rectangle like length and breadth will be given you have to do some cylinder formation type of questions next there was average questions two questions were there of averages next ratio and proportion investment and profit questions there were two two questions based on these and there was one question from probability so there was one question from probability so these were the important topics so do prepare all of these topics don't go on just the question count okay this may be changed as per your test this you please don't take the number of question scenario just take the important topic scenario and do revise all of these topics and if you have not subscribed to talent battle yet if you are not a student of talent battle yet it can be difficult for you i must not say it will be impossible for you no it it is possible for you to crack any company but it can be a difficult path for you because if you are a talent battle student those who are preparing for tcs with talent battle using our complete placement master class they will feel it very easy because our mentors are teaching in the similar pattern right so when our mentors are teaching you in the similar pattern and they are coming up with the latest questions for you moving ahead now let's talk about some reasoning questions so in total there were 19 questions this can be changed guys as per the pattern please go with the pattern this is just the information gathered information there were some dice type of questions where you have to find the opposite side of the dice there were some floor based puzzles some coding decoding questions number series there were no questions but there can be questions it is taken as an important topic next syllogism there were two questions blood relation there were two questions and there was no questions based on direction but still it can be an important topic to cover don't miss these topics please okay in your last day of preparation take these topics very nicely you can take screenshots i must say of all the important topics so that whenever you are revising you can keep these questions on the top so you can just take a screenshot of this even if you want to register for the talent battles complete placement master class you can register it is not important only for the tcs you can you can use it for the further companies as well we prepare you for more than 25 companies but still if you just uh, like take the uh, subscription today focus today and tomorrow on tcs practice the questions if you have not got 20th of march date your uh, date can be in, uh, like in future as well so start your preparation today with talent battle and do complete all the topics 
So this was the important news I would like to share with you all today. So next test date will be on 20th of March. That is tomorrow. So do prepare very well. Again, from a whole team of talent battle, I wish you all the very best. And if you have anything to discuss, you have any questions to ask, just comment down below. Our mentors will be happy to help you out. And if you want to register for the complete placement masterclass program, the link is in the description box and use my coupon code that is YT offer. So if you use this coupon YT offer, so you will get straight away 10% off. It's YT and O F F E R. The same coupon description uh, is there in the description. Check that out. And if you want to have any further communications with us, we are open for one-on-one -on -one free mentorship sessions. Do connect with us and clear all your placement queries today. Till then, stay tuned. Bye-bye. Take care. Best of luck.